The Congress President Sitaram Kesri walked down to the Central Hall of the Parliament to be unanimously elected the leader of the Congress Parliamentary Party. Analysts began to prognosticate what his first move towards consolidating the party was going to be. And the answer came this week with the return of the prodigals. The homecoming of estranged leader Arjun Singh and N.D. Tiwari and P.R. Kumar Mangalam to the party fold was a welcome shot in the arm of the 111-year-old party. After a long period of political upheavals, the Congress party today seems to be brimming with renewed confidence. Even if there were reservations from certain disgruntled sections of the party against Mr. Kesri's elections as the CPP leader, the general mood is in favour of a leader who can give direction and strength to the party. While speculations are rife that the Congress will withdraw support to the United Front government at the centre and try and form a government on its own, party functionaries maintain that the immediate imperative is to infuse confidence in the rank and file and make the party a fighting unit before the next general elections. At the same time, however, the Congress Working Committee under Kesri has made it clear that support to the United Front is not unconditional and that it will be reviewed periodically. While some members of the Congress have criticized the economic policies of the Devigada government and expressed their desire to be a part of the budget exercise, senior United Front leaders think that the budget is the sole prerogative of the Finance Minister and the Prime Minister. लेकिन बजट का प्रोरोगेटिव जो है वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर और फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर का होता है। Even if analysts foresee a new emerging political equation between the Congress and the United Front, the withdrawal of support by the Congress to the ruling party seems a distant possibility as of now. But in the run-up to the Union Budget 1997, it remains to be seen if there is a change in the status quo.